today we're going to do something fun. Swap it. Try it. Change. Swap it. Why did I eat it again? Hi, I'm Sabrina from Germany and I'll be taking part in this challenge you're doing right now. Then let's start. Okay, so this is Toffee Fee and it's a very famous German snack and I really love it. It's so delicious. As the name Kronki, this one is really crunchy and it's really so nice. Swap it here. This one is really small and it looks cute. Mm! That's what I said. There is a layer, I guess, like there's chocolate and hazelnut and on the top there is chocolate again. It's really nice. But it's not that sweet. It's the sweetness that I can actually like, enjoy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try this. It's really sweet mm. and crunchy and you can taste the peanut. But not the pretzel, I guess. This is like normal chocolate, I think, and it's just a little crunchy. So, if I may say so, I go for toffee fee in the peanut. <laughs> I go for this also. <laughs> this one is so good. I'm sorry, crun crun crunchy. <laughs> so, should we move on? Let's move on. Every child in Germany will have eaten this, probably. Mm -hmm. It's like the perfect child snack because it's small and goes into every um, bag you have. And I think this is like really similar to the Nutella and Go. But the only difference is that there are some topping, topping candies that you can actually like decorate or just eat or something. Oh, okay, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay, can you see it? It's really similar. Do I need to dip it into chocolate and then into the topping? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, this is delicious though. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, well, I don't really need the topping to be honest, but it's a fun extra mm. and it's pretty. I li don't like the taste of Nutella that much, mm. so this goes mm. for me actually. That's so oily. Mm. Looks kind of gross, no, but the, taste, the yeah. taste will be good. Um, <laughs> I think Germans enjoy Nutella on the bread and on pancakes as well. Mm. And they bake with it as well. They have like different cakes with Nutella in it. Uh, they are pretty delicious actually. Mm. Because in Korea, because of its high calories, Nutella is often called as like devil's gem. Mm. Yeah. Mine is the diet version. <laughs> so the last part is Haribo. Actually, I bought this one in Germany and this one is from Korea. But personally, I thought that German one is like much better and it's more mm -hmm. delicious. So today we're going to do something special. We're going to cover our eyes and then oh. we're going to find out which one is from German and which one is from Korea. So this one that we have a tape on it would be the German one. Let's try the same one. Uh, did you pick it? Okay, how about this one? This one? Okay, okay, okay. let's go for it. Mm, I think this is Korean one. Oh, yeah. no. It's Korean because- It's just horrible. <laughs> there is no difference. No, no, it's, it's quite thick and oh. it's not that sour. Okay, let's try the other one. <laughs> this one is thicker. There's actually no difference. No, no. This is German one. This taste has like full taste. And this is softer. Okay. This is this softer. Is softer. Mm. I agree on that. Really? So we are finding the German one, right? Yeah, okay. I'm going for um, your choice because I can find a difference. Yeah, second I think second one is the German one. So which one was the second one? This one was the second one. Mm. Is it German? Mm. This was the Korean one right now. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm good. This is thicker. This is the same. <laughs> Yay! And thank you for coming, no worries. Yeah, My pleasure. Let me introduce my friend, Harris. Hi, my name is Harris. I'm a KU student. I'm from Malaysia. Enna? Oh. Enna? He really looks like ramen. So can you explain for me? Yeah, um, this is um, it's called Enna snack. Mm -hmm. um, I think Enna is in the Indonesian for tasty. Oh, really? Tasty. This one is called Pusha Pusha, and Pusha Pusha is the Korean word for like cracking down and breaking down into pieces. We need to crush it and add the seasoning, shake it. Hmm. So this is bulgogi flavor, but actually like my favorite one is yangnyeom chicken mat, which is the chicken flavor. 
Should we break it first? Yeah, you need to break it. Okay. Nice also. Is it? Yeah, it's really nice. Chicken barbecue flavor. I can taste the barbecue one, but actually I cannot taste the chicken flavor. But still, it's very nice. It's not that salty. I can't say I can't taste the, bu the bulgogi here, but... <laughs> so have you ever tried bulgogi in Korea? Definitely, of course. Mm. Oh, okay, never mind. I think I tasted it a little bit. Mm. But also not that strong. It's a good substitute, I think, for, for if I can't find this. Mm. I think it's a, it's a good substitute. So the second one is... Dejawa and... How can we eat? It's a tebotol. Tebotol. You can see in the bottles from the, from the cover. Mm. And they always come in the bottles. Um, and what tebotol means, it's, um, it just means Bottle in a tea. Oh, really? <laughs> tea in a bottle. Tea in a I bottle. Think... <laughs> and it's just an iced tea, and that's about it. Mmm, iced tea. And Dejawa is like the black tea. And I personally think that it's really famous among university students because it really tastes like black tea, but it's really cheap because we can find in convenience store. And also, I think people usually drink this there during their midterms because it has a very high level of caffeine. Like, yeah, very similar to the hot six. How can I pour it? Should I just pour it like this? I personally thought that it would be like stronger, but it's quite lighter than mm -hmm. what I thought. It was not bad, but I think this is this would be my first and the last time trying it. How was it? Same for me. I don't really go for a bottle milk tea. I go for the actual made milk teas and caffeine mm. shops, yeah. Always the real things always better. We wanted to try this. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no one, yeah, I prefer this one. <laughs> I prefer this one. Close to home. <laughs> I'll go for this. Yeah. And I'm really looking forward to it. This is called Kuropo Udang. Okay, so uh, Kuropo means Cracker, I think mm. it should be. Cracker. And udang means shrimp, so it's just shrimp crackers. For these ones are pellets, and then we have to do is go back and um, fry them. And when you fry them, then it'll puff up and become a, like a crunchy snack. And you can't eat this without cooking. <laughs> we have the cooked version. And then for these ones, Malaysians also eat this a lot as well. And either it just as a snack. Sometimes they dip it in like chili sauce. If, 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 for different versions, they dip it in chili sauce. Oh. I think this looks really similar to ice chip because it is also shrimp flavored mm -hmm. and it looks like this one and I think it'll be quite bigger. It's that really just is similar, yeah. Said, yeah. A lot smaller than yeah, Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty similar. Very similar. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. But yeah. it's quite mild also. It's yeah. not the salty. So if you have something mild, then it's the, when you have something else, that's what eat you, you taste. Eat it with rice? Yeah, eat it with rice, yeah. Like putting the rice on top of it, or no, not like, not like, <laughs> not like that, but like you add it on top of rice, so we have something crunchy, like with like your rice and like your curry and your meat. So you wanna go for this one? Oh, definitely, yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are the snacks that we prepared for today, and for the next content, we're going to come back with more exciting and interesting one. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you like our video, please subscribe and push. Like, thumbs up. Yeah, push like. Thumbs please. up. Yeah. Thank you for watching.